Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, all of them, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. You put yourself in it, you put works in it, you put works in it, you put yourself in it. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, you're born again, but you are rapture ready or justified by the blood of Jesus first of all rapture ready which is going to happen at any time especially with what's going on right now and sealed until the day of redemption which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation once saved always saved always that's the gospel it is grace that's the gospel the Holy Spirit at that point will indwell in you, lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, feed you the word, change you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. Period. Now, Israel's going off the deep end. Well, this is off of... Uh, 365 my phone alert now people have asked how do you get this Israel red alert thing I I, I think this is off of Apple it's called red alert now I, I think you can get it on your Android but I don't know what it's called on the Android phone I know on Apple it's called red alert Terrorists fire heavy rocket barrages at the IDF strikes the PIJ assets in Gaza. This thing is blowing up. So Palestinian terrorists in the Gaza Strip unleashed a barrage of rockets at Israel on Wednesday afternoon, breaking a tense day-long calm. <laughs> told you it wasn't going to last long. <laughs> I told you all it was not going to last long. The ceasefire was going to stop. Following the Israeli Defense Forces targeted killing of three top Palestinian it's, uh, Islamic Jihad members yesterday. Warning sirens sounded across communities near the Gaza border as well as Ashkelon, Ashdod, and the greater Tel Aviv area. I had people write me when I put that uh, alert on my uh, community tab saying that they were already in Israel and they were taking they were seeking shelter in response Israeli uh, Air Force jets began striking PIJ rockets infrastructure across the strip the IDF home front command instructed civilians within 40 kilometers which is a 25 mile radius of the Gaza Strip to stay near protected areas Residents of areas adjacent to the Palestinian enclave were ordered to remain in bomb shelters until further notice. So this thing then took off now. It goes on to say, uh, on Wednesday afternoon, uh, the IDF chief of staff, Lieutenant General Herzai uh, Halavi, toured the um, military Gaza's division and held a uh, situational assessment meeting. As part of the tour, he met with troops in the field and was presented with various attack and defense scenarios. Sources in Hamas told Lebanon's pro-Hezbollah Al-Akbar newspaper earlier on Wednesday that the response will be unified through the joining military of the resistance factions. And it will teach the occupation, which is Israel, a great lesson. And the responses will not be limited 
to a specific faction or a specific front, but rather all fronts are nominated to participate in the response. I, now, <laughs> I was thinking about this last night when I did that video last night about the banks and the and what's happening with the banks, which, like I said in that little pinned comment on the video, I believe all this is being done on purpose to introduce the CBDC to the banks in all this. Why do I get the feeling that this month is going to be explosive, to say the least? It's going to be an explosive month. It's already starting to be an explosive week. I told you it was quiet before the storm. This weekend, it was quiet. Matter of fact, I didn't do a video. I think it was Sunday, either Saturday or Sunday night. It was quiet. Now all hell's breaking loose. It says thousands of Israelis living near the border of Gaza have been evacuated since yesterday. Evacuees are being bused to hotels uh, and guest houses throughout Israel where they will be able to stay for three days with the possibility of an extension depending on the security situation. This is not the time to go visiting places like that. I don't care. I I don't care. I don't care. You just stay away from those places. I'm just saying. Many other Gaza residents have temporarily relocated to other parts of the country on their own initiative. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday, last night, said that he had authorized Tuesday morning's targeted killings after more than 100 rockets were fired at Israel last week. Now, this goes on to talk about the massive, and this is off of World Israel News, massive barrage of rockets hit Israel from Gaza. Palestinian terrorists in the Gaza Strip unleashed a massive barrage of rockets at Israel. They're... This is basically saying the same thing that the other article said as well. So, uh, rocket alarm, rocket alert sirens blared across the communities located along the Gaza border in Ashkelon. Um, it just goes on and on. Now, this came in also. This is developing. So, the United Nations Security Council to meet over Gaza tension. So, an emergency UN session on brewing conflict between Israel and Gaza-based terror groups scheduled for late Wednesday afternoon. So I'm assuming they've either had it already, had this meeting already. So it says the United Nations Security Council scheduled an emergency meeting to discuss escalating tensions between uh, Israel and the terror groups in the Gaza Strip. So the meeting, which is which was set to take place this afternoon comes after terrorists in the coastal enclave fired more than 100 rockets at civilian communities in Israel, South and Jerusalem, responded with airstrikes that killed 10 people, including three senior Islamic Jihad commanders. Um, the United Arab Emirates, which signed the Abraham Accords normalized normalization agreement with Israel back in 2020, said it had called the meeting over concerning developments in the region and that France and China France and China supported the move the call for this meeting in a statement on Wednesday morning the United Arab Emirates foreign ministry said it condemned the Israeli operations that targeted areas in the Gaza Strip which resulted in the death and injury of numerous people. Oh, it condemns that, but it don't condemn them firing over into Israel. What does my shirt say? Let me see it. Let me show you. This is my shirt right here.
In a statement on Wednesday morning, they condemned this. China, China. The statement avoided acknowledging the role of the terror groups who recently targeted Israel in the conflict, instead calling on Israeli authorities to stop escalation and avoid exaggeration, tension, and instability in the region. So they're blaming Israel now, which they always did. The closed-door emergency meeting will see diplomats from the U.S., Russia, the United Kingdom, Japan, Switzerland, Brazil, and several other countries to discuss their dis concerns over the conflict. No, really now. The Palestinian Authority representative to the Security Council, Rayed Mansour, made it clear that he will use the session to slam Israel for the airstrikes. We condemn this. That's what he's saying. I'll let you read the rest of this. This is such BS. It's not even funny. But, you know, it's the times we're in right now. And God is letting us see what's going on. I've said it before. I say it every day. And I mean what I say. The church is on its way out of here. Seriously. This is going to get worse. Especially when you have China... Russia, and all the rest of the top diplomats, U.S. involved in all of this. This is going to get a lot worse. And the U.S. has a lot of nerve to get involved in this. But we'll see where it's going to go. We know where it's going to go. Again, I have not a good feeling about this month. As far as the world goes, I don't. As far as the church goes, I have an awesome feeling. But those of you who aren't born again, as that pastor said in the movie Sunday Morning Rapture, you have to be born again in Christ Jesus. Then it's going to be a great day. Am I saying the rapture is going to happen this month? Nope. I don't know. I hope I know something's going to happen this month before it's all over with. It's starting right now. Well, it started a few months ago. Actually, it started last year. Well, let's just go back. Actually, it started when Israel became a nation. And it's just escalating right now. Yes, the church is on its way home. Period. I will link all this in the description box in a... <sighs> Anything else comes up, I'll be back. Thank you.